Whoa, whoa, Grandpa, tell me about the good old days. Boomer shooters! Yes, boomer shooters. The good old days of the first-person shooters. Uh, okay. Now, uh, in the early days of computer games, uh, people had concepts in their head. And I remember playing a game called The Eidolon by Lucas um, Lucasfilm Games back in the day. Yeah, and before that don't look familiar to me at all. Yeah, early Lucasfilm game on PC, on Atari 100 computer, and you kind of moved around in first persons, and once in a while you'd have to fight a monster, and this is like a dragon you fought in the game, you're like in these underground caves. You know, it's it's really a shame Disney doesn't understand when they bought Lucasfilm, they bought a whole bunch of IPs that they could yeah. probably turn into movies and stuff, but whatever, they don't know these things. Okay, but anyway. And every one of these games you're going to cover, I'll bet you, they could update with new graphics and it would be awesome mm -hmm. we're gonna get there okay but here we go we have wolfenstein 3d i had to i had to find picture screens of it without certain symbols in the background <laughs> anyway, which but, is not um, easy these days that's right but this is a game where you infiltrate a german fortress during world war ii and start shooting up a bunch of um rhymes with yahtzee okay you know i <laughs> had i had this game on um a disc remember when we were talking about getting cds that had a whole bunch of games on it because oh, you yeah. could fit so much i had this with a whole bunch of other games otherwise i i wasn't going out of my way for it but i'm like oh this is kind of fun but yeah. you see in the middle the guy with the bad mustache has his picture on the wall there yes but it's distorted so it could be anybody <laughs> Oh, yeah, man. it could it could be any dictatorial leader in in the past you, century or two. Uh, this this I believe is considered to be at least or at least one of the earliest or maybe the first what we call a first person shooter. Okay. Yeah. Um, and this was actually a remake, uh, like a 3D version of this game called like I think it was Escape from Castle Wolfenstein that was on the old like Commodore and Atari. Oh, computers. really? What do you think of that? Pretty impressive graphics, huh? <laughs> but they made it 3D. That looks a lot like that. 3D. What was that game? Was it Berserk or something like that? Kind of oh, reminds me know, of that. Maybe. I had I had to go back that the guy had a, a symbol on his front that you could barely notice that it's not allowed. Anyway. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> anyway, though, but uh, Wolfenstein 3D came out. This actually came out. On you the mean Super the Pinwheel of Friendship? The Pinwheel of Friendship. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, there's some Japanese game where it's getting censored, even though it's a reverse of that symbol, and it's actually a Buddhist symbol that has nothing to do with the other thing, but I don't want to go... Oh, it's an anime oh that they're gosh. censoring it out of oh in the United States, even though that's not what that symbol is. It's it's a Buddhist symbol. Anyway, moving on, we have here um, Doom. You remember Doom, huh? I do. I don't remember these particular monsters. They look a lot like beholders from uh, Dungeons yeah, and Dragons. You encounter these later on, but uh, yeah, when you got a little further in the game, you encounter them. They, they do look like beholders. <laughs> Horizon um, Talker said, I remember the Simpsons mod for Doom. Oh my gosh, that must have been hysterical. Oh, that's I can't funny. even imagine that. They do weird, weird mods with the Simpsons. There's some, I think there's some game, it's almost like a survival horror game, and I think Marge is after you or something. It, oh my I, gosh. I, I don't know, I saw something, but uh, yeah, this is Doom. Um, you can still get Doom very easily today. Um, this is, what's the plot of Doom? You're a space marine, uh, I think I, I, it's on It's on Mars, I believe a corporation or, the, or somebody opens up a gateway to hell, and basically all the demons pour out and you gotta kill the demons, okay, and zombies and other things, okay, see? Get shotgun. Did you used to play Doom at all a little bit? Maybe you're a PC guy, right? Honestly, now Everybody I'm getting confused Doom. between Doom and Wolfenstein. I'm forgetting which one was which. <laughs> well, they're made by the same company. Doom came out later. Doom really refined the first person shooter. Did they use the same game engine? I mean, uh, they sure look like they it's did. possible that this was refined. It was built from what they did in Wolfenstein, but this was better. What I do um, remember about these games was this was not true. 3d right this was really just uh, the objects in the in the background got bigger and bigger here's what i think know? i think the objects themselves i could 
correct me if I'm wrong, Chad. I know you're. I can't look at it, Chad. But if anybody's wrong, I believe that the car- things you shot were sprites, two D sprites. But I believe right. the stuff, like their actual rooms, moved around in some sort of three D. I could be wrong though. Don't, I'm not an expert on this. Well, crash. what it was okay. is like these guys on the screen here were yeah, just two two-dimensional yes, two dimensional characters, they were. yes, they and were. they would get smaller and larger as they got closer yes. and farther away. Yes. And I know that. You know, anybody who's, well, that's how 3D works. But but it's not really. It's all, as far as the computer is concerned, on a 3D, uh, on a 2D plane, you know. And if it's closer, it's easier to hit, but they could program it. If it's, you know, a larger size, it can do more damage because it's closer. Whatever, it, it was part, it was built into the game. It was, it was pseudo 3D, you know. Yeah. Um, a, a few years back, there were three candidates for the Video Game Hall of Fame. Uh, three of them were Tetris. You've heard of Tetris, right? Yep. Super Mario Brothers. You've heard mm-hmm. of that game, right? And yep. Doom. And I have to say, the first two are great games, but I might have actually given it to Doom. Yeah. Um, Doom holds up incredibly well. You can get Doom. You can still buy Doom on anything these days. Um, I have it on my Xbox. Uh, Two dollars and forty nine cents on sale. That's nice. nothing. Not nice. only that, you can get Doom 2 for that when it's on sale, $2.49. And they give you all these free add-on packs. Like, a lot of people in the community over the past couple of decades have made their own Doom games yeah. using the engine, and they give those to you for free. So you get a whole bunch of free software, and you can have hours and hours of endless entertainment, and it still holds up well. well that's why I was getting a kick out of Horizon Talker talking about The Simpsons. You play as Homer, and you power up by eating donuts. I'm like... Well, that's funny. I, I just that that would just make my day, you know. Oh yeah, it, yeah. Even unofficially, there's a whole bunch of stuff you can get your hands on. Those this beholders- I find incredibly interesting because yes, you're fighting these horrible monsters, but you're surrounded by a pizza river. That's pretty cool. What? Where look- on the screen here? Yeah, look at the picture. It's a pizza river. Oh my god, I don't know. Anyway, you know what <laughs> doesn't that like... look like pizza, guys? Come on. Yeah, you know what? I a little bit. Okay. <laughs> it's supposed to be mud, I think, or or toxic. Smoke. No, I think I it's lava. Yeah, anyway, I think it's lava. Th- those 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 things that look like beholders. You know how I would kill them? Sometimes you'd run into like these, um, basically like Indiana Jones in the Temple of Doom, where something like the ceiling comes down on you, right? And you have to run through real fast. Sure. I would try to try have these things follow me in there and watch them get crushed by those things. Ah, that's uh, you, funny. You can still pick it up today if you have a PC. It's on Steam or any other sure, thing, sure. and uh, Microsoft, Xbox, PlayStation, Nintendo Switch. You can play it on the go, yeah. um, easily available. So um, there we go. And uh, uh, later there on, there we go. You know, this, you know, one this one I know. This yeah, is Star yeah, Wars yeah. Dark Forces. I didn't play too much of this one, but you you may be a little more a little more familiar with this. Now I had heard I had heard that they were working on upgrading this to a new game engine or something like that that it was supposed to get re-released i don't know i know that they made games later on that had better graphics and were sequels to this yeah i don't know if they ever remade this one it's possible i'm not an expert on this i it would be cool if they would just be you know re-release it at least i saw uh they they took now it wasn't related to this but somebody took and and recreated all of moss Eisley the spaceport in unreal engine and you walk oh. around with this gun and you can fire at things you can't really do any damage there's no game application built into it but you can travel all around you can go to docking bay 94 you can go into chalman's cantina you can go to all the different places it's yeah. really pretty cool i believe the first level of this game has you stealing the death star plan so it's not i guess it's not canon anymore like because rogue one tells that story but you're you're you play this guy he just goes and wastes a bunch of stormtroopers and gets the plans the death star and gets out of there i think that's how it starts yeah yeah yeah. but um yeah and they said it was pretty i think you even run into job of the hut later on or you run into job a spaceship and you see him through a hologram and like he sends you down into a pit where you're fighting monsters and stuff interesting it's, yeah, yeah. Uh, there's a YouTuber called Civi that does a lot of cool videos on these old PC games, and he was he was really loved this game. Uh, have you heard of Heretic? This one I don't know. Was it it's related sequel, to the other sequel. ones? Hexen. Hexen. Oh, I've heard of Hexen. Yeah. Yeah, that was its follow up. This is like first Doom, but with magic and sorcery, that sort of thing. I never played them myself though. Sure, sure. Because I was not a PC guy. In fact, of going course. back to Doom, uh, they released Doom on the Super Nintendo and. Uh-huh. 
for the time we were all amazed and looking at it now it's terrible <laughs> it's <laughs> like like the sprites couldn't actually turn around they were all always facing toward you because yes they, and yes. they said it was a miracle they could get it run on the Super Nintendo at all. My brother had it on the Sega 32X, which was this add-on for the Sega Genesis you could buy and you could get Doom for it. But even that, it still wasn't nearly as good as the PC. Yeah.